I am playing the goddess Diana. I'm playing the role of Mercury. I'm singing the role of Pane. I play Saturino. And I sing the role of Callisto. Callisto is a nymph and she's a follower of Diana. What happens is Jove, my father, the head god. Jove comes down to earth and sees La Callista. He asks me, how can I get her? And I said, well, simple. You need to dress up like a woman. She gets tricked into falling in love with Diane. And of course, that uh, creates a lot of little funny plots here and there throughout the opera. <laughs> In the show, we have the gods and goddesses, we have mortals, and then we have sort of these fantastic mythological creature-type characters. A satyr is half man and half goat. We pretty much supply the comic relief. Since Pane is so all over the place and has expresses such a wide range of emotions, I'm able to really go for it. As a goat, I have to bleat as part of my role, which is something I've never done before on stage. I did some character research on YouTube and um, found this great video of this goat terrorizing a town, which I found very inspiring for my scene with Lymphaea especially. <laughs> La Calisto is a really unique opportunity for the Cincinnati public. It's the first time that the company in its storied 94-year history has performed a Baroque opera. The Baroque orchestra adds a very unusual element because it's using period instruments. So it's a chance to hear something new. It's a chance to see something very intimate. And in this particular Baroque opera, it's probably one of the bawdiest comedies that you can find out there. So it's, it's fun to play with that, um, also in the context of this extremely intimate style of music.